Uh, this is from A River Runs Through It by Norman MacLean. Help, he said, is giving part of yourself to somebody who comes to accept it willingly and needs it badly. So it is, he said, using an old homeoletic transition, that we can seldom help anybody. Either we don't know what part to give, or maybe we don't like to give any part of ourselves. And then, more often than not, the part that is needed is not wanted. And even more often, we do not have the part that is needed. For some time after my brother's death, my father struggled for more to hold on to. Are you sure you've told me everything about his death? he asked. I said, everything. It's not much, is it? No, I replied. But you can love completely without complete understanding. That I have known and preached, my father said. Then he asked, After you've finished your true story sometime, why don't you make up a story and the people to go with it? Only then will you understand what happened and why. It is those we live with and love and should know who elude us. Now nearly all those I loved and did not understand when I was young are dead, but I still reach out to them. Of course now I am too old to be much of a fisherman, and now of course I usually fish the big waters alone, although some friends think I shouldn't. Like many fly fishermen in western Montana, where the summer days are almost arctic in length, I often do not start fishing until the cool of the evening. Then in the arctic half-life of the canyon, all existence fades to a being with my soul, and memories, and the sounds of the big Blackfoot River, and a four-count rhythm, and the hope that a fish will rise. Eventually, all things merge into one, and a river runs through it. The river was cut by the world's great flood and runs over rocks from the basement of time. On some of the rocks are timeless raindrops. Under the rocks are the words, and some of the words are theirs. I am haunted by waters.